Joshua 1. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Ar Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of great miracles that taught us the truth. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. 144,000 men pushing the truth the whole world is considered across the four winds. This is Akai Gwa, the spare part of Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai from the JMS Germany camp. Back with another little quick lesson, you know, a little willingness edifying. You know, this lesson is just, you know, a little inner spirit type of thing. You know, a little willing I can uh, accurately and uh, quote scriptures seeing as I'm driving. I, I, don't, I ain't gonna really pull in too many precepts, but you know, uh, you know, Lord willing, I'm uh, coming back this up with precepts. I'm gonna do this again, but it's all through the spirit, you know. And uh, this, this is about, you know, uh, a desirous heart, okay. And when I say that, the things that you should desire on this end, on this side, in this life right now, what is it that you should desire? You know, should you, should you desire to have riches? Should you desire to have women? Should you desire to have a, 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 a so-called huge amount of money from, from a, a, a job? Should you decide to, should, should, should you desire to have a, a job that is a high paying job or things like this? Or, or should you desire spiritual things? Okay, because it's easy to get wrapped up in this world. You know, Esau make it, make it so easy to get trapped in the monotonous day to day, you know, wash, rinse and repeat type of thing. You know, you, you, you can, you, you get, you get put into an office job or a job where, you know, you do it every day. You, you wake up six o'clock, you go to the job, spend nine hours there come back you got no time to do nothing else by the time you you travel from from the job which is probably 30 minutes away 30 45 minutes away you got no time to do anything else all right so you wake up six you get back home seven o'clock you know and here in germany you know on sunday everything is closed all right on sunday you're not allowed to to cut the grass you're not allowed it's called a ruicide ru ru uh, quiet time you know because it's supposed to be the day of the Lord, all right? The day of the sun god. Actually, that's what it's about. Their pagan, their pagan deity Baal, okay? No, but the point I wanted to make is that, you know, what should we desire on this side? And we, and, and the things that we should desire as men of the Lord, as people of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, as Yasharalit, is what? We should desire for the Heavenly Father to be mercy upon us. We should desire for Heavenly Father to reveal more Reveal, reveal more understanding unto us. We should desire to be more spiritual. We should desire to be to, to be more faithful, to have more faith. Okay? Because all of the things that we should we desire right now, like the things of this world, you know, you know, the things of this world, mammon, money, so-called status, so-called having a big house, okay? Having a, a, a fancy car, all right? Having all, all, all different types of women. All of these things are going to pass away, all right? And nine times out of ten, it's vain, all right? It's empty, all right? The people that are normally around you when you got so many things, they're just there for their money, for their gain, all right? But this brotherhood that you've been put so, so graciously a part of, all right? The truth that you've been so graciously graciously put into, all right, because that's what we have been done. That's what has been done unto us. We've, we've been put into these lots to be able to preach and prophesy, all right, to be able to 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 hope in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, to be able to call upon the name of Yahweh, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, the names like you, you know, these things they aren't given unto everybody. You know, and as an example, you know, think about what King Solomon uh, asked for. Think about what King Solomon desired, which was what? Wisdom. To judge such a great people. Okay? We should desire wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay? Because we know that what we are doing right now are building us spiritual riches in, in, in the heavens with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh the things that we are building and putting up, uh, uh, storing up for ourselves in the heavens, 
you know, spiritually, it cannot be taken away. Where all these things upon the earth doth wrath, uh, moth, and 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 uh, 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 I say shimmer, which is uh, uh, when, you, when things get damp. Uh, damn, it slipped my mind. The English word for it, shimmer, mold, mold, moth, and mold. You know, uh, mold. It corrupts the things upon this earth. If we don't take care of your car, if you don't take care of your house, if you don't take care of your garden, if you don't take care of your clothes, all of these things, they're gonna, they, they pass away. But what we are hoping for and desiring to obtain is salvation, all right? That seat of election, okay? That, 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 that being put on high, okay? To be, to be beacons, ambassadors of Yahweh by Shemir Washai in the earth. You understand how big and beautiful that lot is? That that job will be? Okay, because it says it. You know, that we're going to have chariots over all of our assemblies wherever we go. All right? Who's going to want to touch us? Who's going to want to come up against us when they see that we got we got a goddamn so-called UFO protecting us? All right? And not, even, not, not only that, what about the spiritual powers that has been promised unto Israel? Okay? What about the spiritual powers, the immortality? All right, they'll be able to put a thousand men to flight. Okay, these things that are going to be given unto us are truly miraculous and beautiful. All right, so the desirous heart that you should have is upon spiritual things. Okay, desire to do that which is pleasing in the eyes of the Heavenly Father. All right, desire to, to, to strive to keep His law, statutes, and commandments. Desire to properly keep the Shabbat. Desire to properly uh, keep the the the, uh, the uh, Passover. All right. Desire to 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 love and cherish and help the brotherhood. Desire to feed the the sheep of Israel. Okay. Do these things. You know that you know that video they do it on TikTok. Do these. You want you you want you want abs. Do these. <laughs> you know. You know you want you want to be put on high with the heavenly Father. Do these things, man. Love his 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 elect. Love the ones who have been put over us to teach that have taught you this this truth. Okay, love the ones you know respect and cherish the ones who have been uh, toiling and laboring for for the elect for 30, 35 plus years, and so on and so forth. And the men that are followed in the footsteps of those men after that. You know, and a few names come to mind: Elder Apostle Tahar, Elder Apostle Gabar. Elder Apostle Aramla, I mean uh, Rakar, Elder Apostle Aramla, okay, Elder Yasha Wamba, Elder Banak the Zakba, okay, Elder Ari, uh, uh, Elder Ariala, to me, he's an elder to me, you know, you got you got men doing this work, uh, what is that, uh, GMS Assidians, what is that, Elder Pashai, I think his name is, you know, you got the brothers of Charlotte, Aisha Yar, if I'm not, like if I said his name incorrectly, but the big brother in, in, in Charlotte, you got the you got the uh, elder elder uh, Kazak in Mississippi. Okay, desire to be like these men, desire to push and prophesy the way that these men have already laid the foundation and example of. Okay, these were these are the things that a, a man uh, should desire. That's the type of desirous heart that she should have, not on the riches of this world. I don't know the materialistic things of this earth, which Esau controls and can take from you anyways. You know, you can so-called buy a house flat out. You can buy it flat out, but you still got to pay taxes on it. So you don't even actually own it. You can stack all this money up in a bank account. But as soon as Esau want to freeze your accounts, he can take it. You can, you can, <laughs> you can buy all manner of things, TVs, all these things. But if Esau want to come and take them from you, he can take it. But the things that we are stacking up in heaven, you know, with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, no man can take it. All right, that an incorruptible crown, nobody can take it from you. Only you can. Only you can fumble the bag, so to speak. You know, by doing, by not doing that which is and pleasing in the eyes of the heavenly Father, by not doing which, doing that which the heavenly Father told us to do, which is to do what, enduring to the end, preach and prophesy. All right, go on the highways and byways into the chief place of concourse 
concourse and let wisdom scream and cry out. All right? Fish for the elect. Look for the sheep of the Most High. Okay? And love him with all your heart. And how do you show you love him? Through your works. All right? He that loveth me keep my commandments. You see? Keep it, striving to keep in the commandments. It ain't going to be easy. You know, but nothing worthwhile is ever easy. Okay? Nothing worth anything is ever easy, man. You know, in Esau's kingdom. So what? How much more so should we strive and and, and push for for what? For you? How about Shemiah was shot? You know, at once at certain times we were lost in the dark. So now what we should do? What should we do? We should come back and seek the Lord ten times more with mourning and weeping and fasting. Okay, because the Heavenly Father knoweth and seeth all things. He knows what you do when you're in your personal time. He knows how you spend your time. He knows how you fumble your time. If you mismanage your, your time, your money. He knows because he's given you all of these things. He's given you the ability to have money every month. He's given you the ability to wake up and to, to know that you're an Israelite. He's given you the ability to preach and prophesy. So he knows if you do it or not. You know, and that's the beauty of this, this truth. And also the terribleness and fearfulness that we should have upon the Heavenly Father. Okay. And his only begotten son, because Yahweh Shai is a direct representation of Yahweh. All right? So we should pray, preach, prophesy, fast, strive to keep the commandments, desire to do all of these things. Okay? Desire to be a, a righteous man in this truth. Desire to be a good name in this truth by doing good works. Okay? So Lord willing, you know, this is on the way to camp. Just a little quick little thing that I was thinking about, you know, and Lord willing, I'm going to do a better and more in-depth with, precept, with precepts uh, lesson about a desirous heart. So with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, And again, Shalom.